Welcome to another Coffee with the Coach. Um, today I've got my iced coffee because it's rather hot out <laughs> where I am. Um, but it's nice. The weather is starting to get slightly cooler, so that's been <sighs> that's been a relief. Um, I'm excited. As you can see, I'm ready for fall weather in my colors today. But um, I want to kind of talk about uh, an experience that I had this past week and um, how it inspired me to think about how beautiful the human experience really is. Um, so long story short, my boss at um, my work has been sick this week and um, we go to Starbucks all the time, you know, that's our thing, our coffee, our tea every afternoon, one of the two, mainly coffee. Um, so because she was sick, I, you know, I encouraged her to drink tea because I figured that would be more healing for her, you know. And uh, I had suggested this tea and when I got to Starbucks to get our drinks, they didn't have it anymore. And uh, I told the barista, who I love, um, I told her that my boss wasn't feeling well and that she needed a tea. And she said something along the lines of, well, let me make her a medicine ball or medicine bomb or something like that. And I was like, what on earth is that, you know? And so she made her like this <clears throat> intense healing tea. And she was making it and she's like, this is going to kick the sickness right out of her. We can't have her being sick, you know, like stuff like that. And um, I took it back and my boss drank most of it and she, you know, said it was helping her. But... This what I found so beautiful about this story is just that I love the way humans come together when it's necessary. You know, I mean, that's not a crazy story. She had a head cold, a sinus infection or something. You know, it's not the end of the world. But it's just so reassuring to know that people that aren't in our direct circles, people who aren't family or close friends or you know, people who are kind of strangers, we only know her because she's the barista, you know. These people will step up when it's their time and they will do what they can to make another human feel good and, and safe and feel better. And it was just so beautiful and so inspiring to me because I spent the rest of the time saying hello to people that were walking by me and whatever. and. I just felt my own vibration raise from having this experience and it just really struck me deeply and I was thinking about it for the rest of the day after that because I was just so blown away by how beautiful this experience really is and how we always do come together when we need to as as the human race, right? So. Um, it made me think about larger things, you know, kind of the event and the ascension and stuff that we're experiencing right now. Um, as more people continue to wake up and realize what's going on on this planet, um, we're going to be seeing so much more of that. So many more people coming together and just helping to lift each other up and raise each other's vibrations and share that love and that light energy and it just it just hit me right in the heart space you know it just made me feel so good to see that people are already willing to step up and I think it just hit me so strongly because it's something that's easy to forget especially when we're talking about outside of the spiritual group of people you know what I mean there's like a group of us there's a group of us who are awake already or starting to experience spiritual awakening or you know, whatever you want to call it. There's a group of us, and then there's the other people, you know. And it's just, it's something that you forget about when you're thinking about, you know, the rest of the world. You think 
sometimes it's easy, at least, to fall into this mode where you think of the rest of the world as a bad place. But it's really not. Especially not when you are taking control of your own inner world. You know what I mean? Like, I consider myself a very positive person. I feel that my vibration is one that lifts others up while I'm in their presence because that's what I focus on doing. I want to radiate that love and light energy for others, no matter who they are, whether they're my best friend or a stranger, I don't care. I want people to feel good when they're in my presence. And so, you know, I, I have been noticing people being friendlier, people, you know, saying hello and smiling and just being more calm. I feel like people are calmer in my presence, you know? And it's because that it's because I keep my inner world as calm and as in alignment with my true essence as possible. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying is as we continue on with this ascension, um, it's time that we let go of beliefs that other people are negative, or that other people are bad, or that people aren't going to step up in times of need, you know. Um, it's important that we focus on our own vibration, focus on living from our heart, um, you know, letting go of ego-based fears, or 3D-based fears, or lower vibrational energies, and judgments, and so on, and just move into that heart space, and um, be willing to anchor in that light and share it with others because when we can do that, that's when we're going to see more and more people um, just having that same type of energy and we won't view the rest of the world as a negative place anymore because we're going to be creating our reality, you know. What we put out there is what we're going to get back. If we put out this love and light energy, this positive vibration, this high vibration, then that's what we're going to get back from people because our vibration is going to raise theirs. This is how we change the world. This is how we keep this ascension going. This is how we create the new earth that everyone has been so excited for over the past couple years and even longer. We do it by focusing on what's happening within first and then we can create whatever we want to create in the world. So good things are coming. Good things are coming but it starts from within. So just keep that in mind as we move into the weekend. Um, I'll probably be posting more videos because I'm just feeling inspired and loving connecting with you. Um, if you would like to book a session with me, you can go to fromcoffeetocrystals.com and just head over to my services page. I've got everything listed over there. You can also email me at morgan, morgan at fromcoffeetocrystals.com, okay? Um, but in the meantime, just uh, sit in this energy that I'm sending you, just feel that loving energy that I have and that I'm holding for you, and just take a deep breath and just um, receive. Open yourself up and allow yourself to receive. <sighs> find me on Instagram, find me on Facebook, connect. I want to connect with you guys, I want to know if there's anything that I can talk about that will help you on your journey because that's why I'm here, okay? I love you guys. Talk soon.